Welcome back to day three of our work with our story, Diary of a Chick. So the first day we talked about making our cover page and then, oops, wrong order. The second page we talked about the beginning of the egg. So this is the first part of the life cycle the egg, and it's starting to develop into the chick, right? The little embryo there. The second day, we talked about how after a few days, it's starting to get a little bit cramped inside, and the chick is starting to think about breaking free. All right, well today, um, what we're going to be talking about is our third journal entry, okay? So if you remember when Miss Kastner put our chicks in the incubator, it was on March 18th. And so this is really close to 21 days. It's just one day before, it's 20 days, right? And what do you notice here is starting to happen? I drew an egg. And this was really fun to draw. You can draw one of your own if you'd like. I started just making some little bumpy lines throughout. And, um, and I made a few more over here. And it kind of looks like the egg is starting to crack. And what do you see inside? I made part of a little baby chick, okay? And this is what I said. I said... It's like a sauna in here. Do you guys know what a sauna is? A sauna is something that you might like to go in if it's super, super cold. Maybe your mom or dad do. It's such a nice, warm, toasty spot. And that's what I feel like it's like for that little egg. Because do you guys remember what Miss Kastner said about how warm it is inside that incubator? Oh, so this egg is saying, it's like a sauna in here. I need to get out. It's too small. I'm too squished. Ready or not, here I come. And now think about that. This part, ready or not, here I come. Does that remind anyone of a game that you play? It's kind of like when you play um, hide and go seek, right? You count to 10 and then say, ready or not, here I come. So, for your third journal entry, you could do it either on the 6th or the 7th, and you might want to draw yourself an egg like this with some little cracks. Maybe yours has more cracks than this. Maybe you can't see um, your chick as much as mine. Either one is fine. And you're going to want to write something about how the chick is going to start to peck its way out. Okay, so as you're doing that, make sure you have a date and make sure as you're reading it and writing it, you have capital letters at the beginning and punctuation at the end. Awesome job. I can't wait to see what yours are like. We'll see you tomorrow.